The first sleeve that I'm going to create today is a cap sleeve. And to do a cap sleeve, you need to bring in your basic block, the front, the back, and the sleeve. And you want to copy the appropriate pieces. So I am just using the front and the back as a reference, so I don't need to copy those but I am going to copy my basic sleeve and then send back the original so that I again I always keep my original sleeve and I'm only making changes to the copy. So again I'm just going to use my front and my back as a reference. So here's my sleeve and I'm going to be following the book on page uh, 308 and on 308 it shows both just a plain cap sleeve and one uh, that has some fullness so we're just going to do the plain cap sleeve so um, the first thing that it does is that it indicates that you need to establish a point one inch below the um, armhole and so I'm going to bring in here my sleeve and I'm going to add a point one inch below the bottom of the armhole so next would be one and then I'm just going to draw a straight line so I'll take my draft tool grab that point then select F2 and just go 90 degrees to the other side. So I now have my my point here. And now I need to cut away uh, my uh, what will be my cap sleeve from the rest of the sleeve. So I can use the build piece tool or the trace segments tool. So I'm just going to click. Remember with build piece, only click once, then you have to do a right mouse click, and then you can make the screen area smaller. Make sure that you go back to the select tool, otherwise it creates more uh, pieces. And now I can send my uh, sleeve away. So now I have my very short sleeve here. Now if I'm looking at uh, the picture in the book, it says to trim uh, one inch from the cap. So I'm going to zoom in here close to the cap and I'm going to use move proportional. So I'm going to grab points along the sleeve cap and then at the top or the center of the sleeve I'm just going to come down straight make sure that you're not crooked that you are just going straight down and that X should be 1 and just make sure that Y is 0 because you are just moving straight down so you've lessened the sleeve cap by 1 inch or with the author saying to trim away 1 inch then it says to trim away a quarter of an inch at each one of the side seams. So it's referring to the edge right here. This is the side seam. And you just grab the point, move in, and either Y or D would be one fourth of an inch. And you want to go to the other side here. Pull it up. And I'm going to grab the other side and come in one fourth of an inch. Okay, so it's slightly angled there. And then the last part is that it needs to curve because it come, a cap sleeve comes up on the bicep. 
So to do this, I'm going to first add a point in the center of the sleeve hem. And to center it, I want 0.5 in proportion. And then I want to make sure that that point is a curve point. And then I'm just going to move it up. Now the distance that you move up, you just basically eyeball that amount. It just depends upon what the designer wants. It's not extremely high because there wouldn't be enough room along the underarm. We want to make sure that we are moving in a straight uh, line. In other words, the x-axis is straight. So I'm just going to come up about an inch and a half. Uh, again, it depends upon what the designer uh, wants. And there I have my cap sleeve. Now for a uh, cap sleeve, the sleeve, as uh, the author mentions, can be faced, in other words, self-faced. So I can just double click on this and uh, make two. And uh, so I'm actually going to line that uh, sleeve. So I'm going to call it my cap sleeve. My code is still sleeve uh, that I would have self. The description for the purposes of this would just be, again, is to stay uh, uh, sleeve variations. Because that would be the name of your homework assignment. And then two-way. So I just uh, would want to make two of those if I were to uh, face that sleeve or line, if you will, that sleeve. Now, if I didn't want to uh, line this, uh, excuse me, if I wanted to line it, I would need four pieces uh, so that if I were to look at scatter pieces here, I would actually have four on sleeves. 